going to have a baby. Welcome to Mother Love Child. Today we are talking about hard labor and transition. What or how or why? Right? Why? Why does it have to be so hard? I don't know. <laughs> Or maybe we do know because it's a big deal. It's a big deal. You're bringing life into your arms. And so I think of it as a way of your body saying, pay attention and your mind warming you up and pre prepping you and being that strong force that will remind you that as the challenges of motherhood come up here and there to remember back that time when you brought your baby into the world and how you overcame that challenge, how you worked through that hard, hard task. And you did it, you made it. And so you can remember that moment when you have some of those hard, hard moments of motherhood and remember that you can do it. You can do it. You can do those hard parts and you can ask for help and you can take breaks and you can do something different. Oh, it's so fun. Okay, so hard labor and transition. When a mother reaches hard labor and transition, it's so exciting because that's like, that is the juicy part of labor. That's when it's like, it's really like it's getting real. It's strong. You see, as somebody attending a birth, you see a woman or just a, a person in this strength and it's just such an honor to witness the this moment in life that is that is expressed the way it is expressed in birth uh, we can relate it to other things of course and it's very helpful but the act of labor and birth when that mother's in hard labor and her transition. Oh, it just, you, it's just, it's just exciting, right? A baby's coming and, and it's really coming. You know, then it's really coming and the work has become serious and the sacredness of birth. You can just feel it in the room when hard labor and transition come in. So let's separate the two. Hard labor and tra transition are not the same thing. They are both within the first stage of labor. Now, when you look at a textbook and you see uh, the first stage of labor in this little box of a rectangle, rectangle of a box, whatever, you will see early labor, active labor, transition. Should I go the opposite way for you? Early labor, active labor, transition. Um, and then second stage. And I've always been like, yes, that's the gist. But with a laboring mother in the process of labor and birth, there's more to it than that. And I always like to add in a sliver between active labor and transition called hard labor. 
Now I just said sliver. It could be a sliver. It could be a wedge. It could be a hunk. <laughs> but there is a point during the process of labor and birth where you've already been excited. You've already accepted that it's labor. You've already had those um, active labor contractions that tell you that this is definitely labor. You're already really into it. And then there's this time during birth, during labor, before the birth, when it gets hard. For some women, it's easy hard. For some, it's medium hard moderate and then for some it's hard hard and that's just the truth of labor i want you to know what to expect if you know what to expect then you can prepare yourself you can prepare yourself for that moment in birth where it might test you, where you're tired, you're so tired, where you wonder if you can keep going or how much further. What if I have a vaginal exam and, and, I'm, and I haven't changed in all these hours of this hard, hard work and I haven't changed? We'll talk about vaginal exams and, and, and measuring the cervix a different day. But all of that mental, uh, the mental work it takes to get, to, to go through labor. The, the, um, the mental demands that labor has on us. And so today I'm going to share with you things that you can do for hard labor and things that you can do during transition. And we're going to start with hard labor because that comes before transition. Okay. When you're in your birth classes, you learn about positions that can be comfortable or help a mother during her labor and birth. You may also learn about movements and touch and massage. And during the hard part of labor, during hard labor, that is when you can grab up all those things and use them. And I even encourage expectant women and couples and partners to practice this during your pregnancy. Practice creating what is known as or what some like to call, I like using this term, a labor ritual or a contraction ritual. I refer to it as a labor ritual. And what you do is you pick, let's say, a uh, three or four of the coping or comfort measures that you learned and you use those in concession over and over and over and over again like a pattern so let's pretend let's pretend that your three favorite coping measures in your birth class are or were being on your hands and knees, having your back massaged, and standing up and swaying your hips. So then what you would do during pregnancy to practice a, a labor ritual for comfort measures would be to 
take those three things, pretend you're having contractions, and during each contraction, you get into that position. So let's say it's hands and knees first, and you use your body in the hands and knees position to relax and breathe, bring your awareness to your breath, enjoy the position that you're in because it brings you comfort. And then when the contraction is over, maybe sit up, maybe stand, whatever feels good. And then when you have the next pretend contraction, do the next one that felt good. Maybe it was, have, um, in, in our little scenario, it was having your back drop. So then have your partner come and massage your back during that contraction. And then when that pretend contraction is over, you can just sit in any comfortable position or stand or walk around, whatever makes you feel good. And then for the next pretend contraction, you're gonna do that third thing. And for this third thing, it was standing up and swaying back and forth. And then that's what you would do. Practice that during your pregnancy. And then when the time of labor, labor comes, you would have already had that practice. It's already in your body and in your mind. And you know that you have something that will help you. And then you remember, I can do this. It will help me. And then you do it. And then it does help you. Uh, now during labor, you probably won't jump from each position. But for practice, that's a good way to practice. And labor, you may stay in your hands and knees position for five or six or contractions. You could even just time it. Maybe for 20 minutes, you'll be on your hands and knees. For the next 20 minutes, your partner will give you a gentle massage on your back. For the next 20 minutes, you'll stand and then you'll repeat and you'll do it again. And this um, method of moving through the hard part of labor gives the, the laboring mother something to focus on, something to look forward to, and it gives her a change. During hard labor, sometimes we need a change. So this is fun. So I say, create a labor ritual, something that you repeat. And then I say, do something different, change it up. So having both, being ready for both. Now, when I say being ready, I'm more talking about the partner in this case. The laboring mother or, or the, pre the pregnant woman and the partner practice together during pre pregnancy this labor labor ritual they learn coping techniques together and then when the time of labor comes and the mother is in hard labor and and you sense maybe even hear the mother share thoughts of it being hard and too long or oh my heavens you know, I didn't know it was gonna be like this. Then ask the partner, you remember, right, let's do something different now. And then you encourage her to do something different. If she's lying on her side in bed, maybe you encourage her to stand up and go for a walk with you. Or if she's already been walking, maybe you encourage a 20 minute soak in the bath. Or if she was already in the bath, maybe you suggest um, getting out of the bath and washing her face and putting on dry clothes and, and moving her body in a different way. Doing something different helps change up the pace and helps our minds widen and open and feel more uh, free and and, oh, what's the word? I, I just, um, you know, sometimes I can't think of words and that's okay, they'll come to me later, but it just, it makes more space for this hard, hard work of labor to become doable, to keep going. 
All right, let's talk about transition. It's too hard. I can't do it anymore. No more. I need help. Why is it like this? Oh, I need it to stop. I need a nap. I can't go on. Somebody help me. Self-doubt cries out for help. As a partner, uh, remember this Wednesday, I will be posting another guided relaxation and it will be for labor. It'll be the autumn bliss relaxation, but it will be, what's the word, altered for use during labor. And I am super excited to share that one with you so that you have something to bring along with you in your labor and birth. Until then, you are born to do this. You are the boss of you and your worth, quality, care.